Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing another BoxyCharm unboxing. This is going to be the October, obviously, BoxyCharm unboxing. I'm really excited about this one because because this box is randomly bigger than any of the other ones that I've received up to this point. So I don't know if they accidentally sent me one of the fancier boxes or what. Either way, I'm not complaining, but yeah, this is a lot fatter than what the other ones have been, so I'm really anxious to open it. If you haven't already, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me, so please make sure to do that. But if you want to see my unboxing of the October BoxyCharm box, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, guys, so as usual with all of my other BoxyCharm videos, I have not opened this yet. All I did was cut open the seal just because I didn't want to struggle with it. Last time I tried to do that, I dropped the whole camera and it was a, a mess. So I just cut the seal, but I don't know what's in here. I haven't peeked on the website, nothing. I always like for this to be a complete surprise to me. I don't want to already know what's going to be in there. So just like with you guys this is a complete mystery to me but like i said this box is bigger than usual so i don't know what's going on in here but i'm just going to open it up got the boxy charm logo so the card really really cute this time it's like these little candies and like blood for October for Halloween. So a very cute I see you boxy charm. And it says save the date, enjoy exclusive 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 members only discounts in our online pop-up. So that is very cool. But I'm gonna go in order with these. I'm really anxious. So the first product in here is the Siat London New England Editor Palette. Okay, so it's an eyeshadow palette. It says, inspired by New England in fall, this palette features super soft and blendable shadows in a mix of richly pigmented autumnal hues. That's such a weird word, autumnal. Mix and match the metallic glitters and mattes for effortless eye looks. This sounds very, very interesting, and it says it's 32 bucks, so not bad for an eyeshadow palette. This is it. I love this kind of packaging on the outside. Obsessed already. Oh, it's pink. Okay, hold on. Oh, I really, really like this packaging. It's like this really shiny light pink with purple leaves all over it. It says Siat London. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, by the way. So if I'm not, I apologize. But on the back, it just has... Oh my god, I'm exposing myself back here. <laughs> On the back, it just says the Editor Palette 18 piece eyeshadow palette. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, okay, I really, really like this assortment of colors. I'm gonna do a little swatch of all these for you guys, so I will be right back once I've gotten them all on my arms. So give me one second. My arm was not ready for these swatches. These are amazing. All of them were super, super creamy, like whipped cream, literally putting whipped cream on your arm. They just felt really, really nice. And they were so pigmented. Some more than others, some came on a little bit patchier. So I'm a little bit curious about those specific shades to see how they turn out. But some of these are so insanely pigmented that I am so freaking excited about them. But basically, I went down the row like this and just moved through like that. So started up here, this light shade you can barely see, but oh my God, look at this. I'm very excited about some of these, like this, wow, this dark blue on my elbow, oh my God, and this, I cannot wait to try some of these. This is going to be such a good palette in my opinion. So, and for not a bad price at all. So I'm really, really excited. I already have some eyeshadow on, but I think I just want to sweep one of them across my lid just to see what it looks like. I think I'm going to go with this one because I don't want to go too crazy 
my outfit does not match with some of these crazy shades. So I just took some onto my finger. Ooh, this is really pretty. That was so easy to apply. My lashes are coming off. But this is such a pretty color. It's really, really beautiful. And I can't even describe to you guys how nice they feel on your fingers. It just feels so soft and nice. I bet there's a lot of fallout with this, but I don't really care about the fallout as long as it's a good product and it blends easily and is good. So far, so good. It was easy to blend across my entire eye. So, so far, no complaints. I really like this and I'm obsessed with the packaging. I'm obsessed with these colors, really nice fall kind of tones. So I'm gonna play around with that more. But moving on, is from Rodial. I haven't heard of that brand before, so it's new to me. It's the Soft Focus Glow Drops. Ooh, I actually had the um, Laniege, I think that's how you say it, I don't know. The uh, Makeup Glow Drops in my cart, ready to buy on Sephora, so maybe this will be similar to that. It says, illuminate the complexion and achieve a lit from within glow. Who does not want that? With new soft focus glow drops. This skincare makeup hybrid is a next generation wonder serum formulated with active ingredients to brighten the complexion and a gentle shimmer to instantly boost luminosity and glow. That just sounds really amazing. This goes for 60 bucks, so it's pretty expensive. The Laniege one that I was looking at was I believe 30, 30 something. So it's definitely more expensive, but if it does what I want it to do, that's fine with me. This is what the packaging looks like, white and pink, my favorite, I love it. And there's one fluid ounce, so like the standard size for a serum. Ooh. This is what it looks like. So the stuff inside is literally pink, but it has like a dropper. Let's drop a little bit onto my hand. Ooh, okay, so it's not runny really at all. Like it's literally just staying in place on my hand, unless I really shake it. Let me just blend this out a little. Ooh, it feels thick, but not thick at the same time. Like it feels thick dipping your finger in, but then once you start to blend it out, it's really, really lightweight. And the shimmer that's in here is like pretty fine. Like it's so fine that it's almost non-existent to me. Let me see. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can definitely tell there's a shimmer in there if you look really, really closely, but it's not like an obnoxious big chunks of glitter on your face. And it has, it has kind of a slight smell. It almost smells like a flower. Not in a bad way though. I know flower smells can be pretty bad, but this is actually nice. It's a really, really, really subtle smell. You have to just stick your nose in it to notice anything. But I really like how this feels. And there is like a tiny bit of like a tackiness to it too, which is good. I like that in my primers. So this is supposed to be Good for skincare and good for a primer under your makeup. So we are definitely going to be testing this out more. I needed something like this. So this literally came at the perfect time. The next product is from Real Her. Realer or Real Her? I have not heard of this brand either. It is the Ultimate Glow Getter Cheek Trio. This cheek trio, that's like a tongue twister. This cheek trio has all your angles covered. This high quality silky formula ensures the high points of your cheeks are evenly highlighted. The hollows perfect, I can't read today guys. Perfectly chiseled and the apples of your cheeks subtly flushed with a universal peach. My favorite, it's like they knew I was getting this. And this goes for $28, so let's see what that looks like. Ooh, I'm already obsessed with this packaging. Look at this. They did like this really pretty rose gold writing and then the back is marble. I love it. Okay. Ooh, I really like this. It's exactly the same inside as it was on the box. It's that rose gold wording and then it has a marble background, which is super, super pretty. I've been really into marble lately, so I can appreciate the packaging. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. 
I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. Just from a first glance, it doesn't really like draw me in the way some other things do. This mirror came scratched. I don't know if this is just a film over it. Nope, this is the mirror. I don't want to show it to you guys because then I'm exposing my whole background. Ah! I did. But basically there's scratches all over the mirror, so I don't really understand that. I don't know if it's just like a cheap quality mirror. And it's not a film over it. I'm looking to see if I can take it off somewhere and I'm literally just peeling the mirror off. So not a fan of the packaging actually. I like the look of it, but I feel like the quality of it is not exactly there. And it's $28, I feel like the packaging for $28 is not really the best. But let's see what the product is like. Maybe that will change my mind completely. I take back what I said. Okay, look at these. That is pigmented. Oh my God, and this blush, I love it. It's peach, it's everything I love in a blush. This highlighter was so freaking creamy. It literally felt like I dipped my finger into butter and just swirled it around in there. The bronzer was a little bit more like that kind of scratchy feeling when you dip your finger in, but it came out really, really, really beautiful. Let me just dip a little bit into the, ooh, there's a lot of fallout, but let me just see what this looks like. I know I already have bronzer on, but I'm curious. Okay, that is very, very painted. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but it is giving me color. Wow. I really like this actually. This was just a quick little messy job though, so don't pay attention to that, but it's really nice. And I'm dipping into the blush now. Let's see how that ends up. Ooh, this mirror is really bad, I'm not gonna lie to you. Wow. This blush is a really pretty color. It's giving me like the perfect peachy flush. I love it. Last but not least, we're gonna dip the highlighter. I can't use this mirror, this is terrible. Wow, that is highlighty. Oh my god, the camera's picking it up pretty nice. It's like beaming. <gasps> I did not expect that. Oh my goodness. You guys, this is actually really nice. If you can get past the really crappy packaging, and the really crappy mirror, I say go for it because this is actually, it turned out really, really good. The swatches and how it went on my face, like I feel really good right now. Wow. Okay, this was a very, very pleasant surprise. Next product is from Sol de Janeiro. I freaking love Sol de Janeiro so much. If you guys have not tried that bum bum cream, you are just missing out on another level. That stuff is like heaven on earth. It is so, the smell is just undescribable. It's, you have to go try it for yourself. I literally can't explain it, but everything from this brand I'm just obsessed with. So I'm hoping that this is the same, but it is the Brazilian Kiss Tinted Kupuku Kupo Lip Butter. A soft tint, I can't read <laughs> A soft tinted lip treatment that pampers lips with a delicious blend of kupwaku, kupwaku butter, acai, I call it a kai, but I know it's pronounced acai, and coconut oils. Cushiony, soft, and super conditioning for lip loving benefits that transform dry rough lips into your most kissable with the scrumptious aroma of doce de... Late day. And this goes for $20, so kind of expensive for a lip oil, but let's see. This packaging is so cute. This looks really small though. Hmm. Oh my god, I love this. 
Oh my god, this is like a little baby version of the they're like the body shimmer oils that they came out with. I've been dying to try those. They look so good and I'm sure they smell like heaven. But this is like a little baby of that. Oh my god. Oh. This is like a lipstick almost. Very weird. It's like, it barely has any tint to it. And it's super lightweight. Like when I touch it, it does not feel too sticky at all. It feels pretty nice. And it's not the consistency of a lipstick. I know it looks like one, but don't let that scare you. It feels very different. It comes off a lot lighter. So I'm gonna test this out tonight. I like to wear lip balm when I sleep because my lips get really dry. So I'm gonna test this out tonight. I'm gonna keep testing it out. My current favorite balm for lips is the Summer Fridays one. It's so, so thick. And I literally wake up in the morning and my lips are still like saturated with the stuff. So I think that one right now is unbeatable. So we'll see how this performs. But the color it's in is Keep It Rio, in case you guys are interested in trying this. So I'm really, really excited about that one. Let me see. Um, it doesn't really, it smells like popcorn, kind of. Yeah, it literally smells like popcorn and I just painted my nose with it. Oh my God. I might like that though, because I would not mind smelling popcorn on my lips, unless that makes me hungrier. But moving on, <laughs> the last, product is from Ace Butte. It's the Draught Lip Liner Duo. The Draught Lip Liners are super pigmented liners that draw on smoothly and can be used to line the lips or fill them in completely. It includes a sharpener at the base, yes, that can be used to sharpen the liner's tip. You can never have too many sharpeners, you guys. I can't stress that enough. And this goes for $16, so that's not bad at all. I know of Ace Butte because I got another product from that brand in another BoxyCharm video, and I think I liked it. This packaging is really cute. I'm loving the pink theme today. Everything is like pink and rose gold. I really, really like this. Ooh, okay, so these are two totally different colors. I don't think you could use these together. It's like a red and a brown. So let's try to swatch these. This is so interesting. Oh, this little color tip comes out and you can sharpen. I like that. Cause it doesn't look like it would. This is like a plastic, you guys. It's not like wood. Oh, it is, I guess, at the top, but this outer part feels like plastic. There's like a plastic coating or something. And then this comes out at the end. That's really creative. I know it's been done before, but it's just fascinating to me right now, okay? But this shade, the brown one, is called Peachy. So let's do a little swatchy. So this, it looks more brown on here. This is very deceiving. It literally looks like brown on here but when you see it on my hand it's like a mauvey brown like a super perfect fall kind of it's a brown for sure but it has like that little mauve tint to it so I could get used to this I think I'm gonna put this stuff to work and then this red is called so gorgeous let's see Ooh, I really like this red Okay, I've been using the MAC Cherry. This is MAC Cherry and this is so gorgeous. I don't know which one I like more. I feel like MAC Cherry is more of that like true red. Like it's more of a brighter red. And this one, so gorgeous, has maybe like the tiniest little pinkish undertone to it compared to this one. They're both really pretty reds, but this one is definitely creamier than the MAC. It comes on a lot more smoother. It literally just like glides. Like, look at this. I barely even, and it just, but that is it. Those are all the products I got. I don't think that this was like a more special box. I think this was still a base box, but I'm kind of not sure why it came in a bigger box. It's okay though. 
not complaining, but I really, 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 really like the products that came in this month's box. I really like the pinkish gold, rose gold theme that they have going again. I think that's really, really pretty. And all of these products are just completely intriguing to me. They're things that I'm definitely going to be reaching for and testing out more and more. Everything that I've swatched and tried, I've liked so far. That's just a first impression though. I don't know how it's gonna go for me in the long run, so I'll keep you guys posted in a future video. But for now, I really think I like everything. It just all looks really pretty, so I can appreciate the aesthetic. But that's all I've got. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I think October's box was definitely a good one. So comment down below and let me know what you thought about the products that came in my box. Let me know if you got the same ones or what you got if you got something different. I want to know what came in your guys' boxes. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you're a BoxyCharm fan like me. Or just in general, give the video a thumbs up. Show me some support share this with your friends and please subscribe to my channel it means the whole entire world to me it shows your support shows me that you're liking my videos so please make sure to do that but stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video